Hi everyone, so what's going on here is that um, I'm going to this video is going to be as like an interview video. I'm gonna talk, I mean not interview, talk, me talking with another photographer in, that I met in Instagram, he's from India. Yeah, this video will be a little bit different and that's my first time when I'm doing it so I'm kind of nervous. So welcome and enjoy, I hope you will get a lot of insights, a lot of value about photography and maybe life in general. So yeah, this is it. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing great, bro. Uh, how to pronounce your name, first of all? Yeah, my name is Deepak Narayan. Deepak? Narayan. Second part. Na. 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 Narayan. 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 Okay. Mm. Deepak Narayan. How do you pronounce your name, man? Mer Merdan. Merdan? Yep. Yeah, so um to start to start out, so I want this I want this be very like useful and this interview bring some value to the audience, whether it's in YouTube or Instagram, it doesn't matter. And so to give some context to give some context around you, can you, I don't know, tell about yourself and maybe why did you start photography and how did you maybe become a photographer? Maybe you have some story, some cool story, I don't know. Uh, I just started taking photos from a mobile phone. That's where it all started. And suddenly I had a friend who had DSLR. So that I used to borrow his camera and I started taking photos. Gradually, I started liking that the output came, and then I started. I bought myself a DSLR and I keep on clicking photos. It's almost been a year since I started photography. Oh, it's been a year. So your friend, so your friend um, inspired you or something like that? No, not inspired. He had a DSLR already. He used to travel a lot, so he used he had a DSLR with him. So I tried to get him and actually we, a group of friends used to take picture of ourselves for posting in Instagram, uh -huh. like a photo shoot. Uh -huh. We, a group of friends, three to four people, used to take photos and post in Instagram of ourselves. I used to get a camera for that time. Then I started taking nature. Then I started liking how the, how it works actually. Uh, when you click it, it's like a different experience. Yeah. 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 I understand. But like, um, why? So why did you start photography? Is it, why did you just decided to take pictures on your mobile phone? Was it something, something? Yeah, it, it maybe, you saw, yeah. maybe you saw, you saw someone taking pictures or you were always considering to be, to start taking photos? No, actually, there is a guy called Audi Photography. He's a big photographer in India. Actually, I used to see his pictures and say, hey, this is amazing, right? Then I, too, myself started taking photos, but the result wasn't that great. Yeah, I mean... It was like yeah. a bit okay, because he's a professional photographer. At the beginning, everyone's photo sucks, I know. Yeah. Mine sucks. Then gradually, gradually, I started experimenting at different things. Now what I do shoot is uh, street uh, street photography. Yeah. Here in India, it's densely populated where you could see, if, if you go in a street, you could see like minimum 10 people somewhere walking so that it's easy to capture street photography. It's densely populated. Yeah, so, okay. And do you, do you see a lot of, a lot of photographers in the street in India? Yeah, in certain places, especially during weekends, you see a lot of photographers. Saturday evening or Sunday evening, you see a lot of photographers. Which Taking part of photos. India are you from? I'm from Chennai, to southern part of India. Southern. I I have friends from 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 northern part. Yeah, from northern part. They study here too with me and stuff. Oh. Yeah. What are you studying? 
I'm studying uh, business marketing. Mm. So you, I have a question. Mm, come on. Are you, do, are you looking into camera or because your camera up? Yeah, no, it's all okay, right? Actually, yeah. I have connected my camera in my laptop so that the video would be better. My camera, my laptop, my camera sucks. It's like oh, okay. pixelated. Okay, I see. So you're looking at me, right? You're looking at my... Yeah, I'm looking at you. Okay, gotcha. So, uh, what what are the like three things maybe that you can share that you use to get the photos that you get right now that you take right now, like to improve? Like, what three important things that help you to improve your photography? Yeah, at least well, to the level that you have. Obviously, right the first thing is you must click a lot of photos, experiment different things, different yeah. lighting conditions. Try out different things. Some may be like really good or some sucks really. Some would look really bad. But all that doesn't matter. You must like keep taking photos. Take, take, take. And other thing I would say is don't, if you're seeing a scene, don't just restrict taking from a one click or two click. You just like click till you're satisfied. If you're clicking at least a 10 picture, yeah. one could be like usable really good. You could post it in Instagram. I agree. I agree with that because if like when you take one picture or two, then you come come home and you open in the computer and you see that somewhere somewhere it's blurry or something uh, yeah. like and you're like, damn, like why it was such a good picture and now now I don't have enough of them. So yeah, I agree yeah. with that. What would be your third thing? Mm, third thing would be like Try shooting in the golden heart and the twilight heart. You could get like really great photos. Especially in between 6 to 8 and 4.30, 5 to 6 evening. So that you could really get dramatic shadows, long shadows, you'd get long shadows. Yeah. yeah. So you mean the golden hour, golden hour? Yeah, golden heart and the twilight heart. Yeah, I... I... So, since this all pandemic and stuff started, I didn't go out to shoot a lot. And yeah, I used to do that in golden hour and like four or 5 p.m. Mm. And at that, at that time, we have such a great like sunset here. So it looks, it looks, it looks pretty. It looks pretty. Yeah, and another tip is if you're like really near the coastal area, you could go to the beach and shoot a lot. Here we are like very near to the coastal area. It's like a, a three, four kilometers from here. You could go to beach and there you would get amazing sunsets. Sunrise, everything would be like, so it would look amazing. If you're starting someone, you could, yeah. if you are just starting, you could take four pictures of sunrise and sunset in beach, which would look really amazing. Then you could do a bit of correction in post production. You could post. Actually, people do like the sun, sunrise, sunset photos, the puppy, dog photos. <laughs> yeah. Those tend to a lot than the street photography or some other thing. Have you have you ever tried some other new like um, other styles of photography, not only street? I do travel photography a bit. Mm -hmm. I haven't traveled that much, but I do a little bit of travel photography. Mm, and I haven't much shot indoor. Say it again. I haven't shot indoor, indoor photography. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. a model photography or a product photography, I haven't shot much. Yeah, I, 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 I want to try. I don't know, I can't find a time now because of my studies and all that. But yeah, I want to try the photog like the product photography because it's, I don't know, I feel like it's so cool when you can take, can you take that little shots, little, you know, uh, a depth of like a shallow depth of field. And I don't know, it, it's cool. And 
to the chest. Yeah, it looks really nice. Uh, if so, you're seeing in a uh, output. Yeah, do you know Peter McKinnon? Peter McKinnon. Yeah, man. YouTube guy. <laughs> he takes like amazing photos. Yeah, so yeah, the Peter McKinnon was one of the photographers that inspired me and motivated me to keep going with photography so i started doing photography so i was always i was always i always wanted to start doing photography even when i was back home but then i was i was very young and i couldn't buy any camera or something i tried i tried to take pictures on my phone but then i came here and i started working and I started studying and it's easier to buy DSLR here. So I bought my first DSLR. It's Rebel T7 Canon. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm too a Canon user. <laughs> I bought it and then 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 my friend introduced me to that to Peter McKinnon and other guys and I uh, discovered the Maddie, Maddie, his friend, right? Oh. Tapoy and stuff. And Peter McKinnon inspired me to just keep going I learned a lot of things from his from his um, videos Maddie helped to then I fell in love with video making too by the way do, do you do some video making do you like it I start doing I haven't much done done much of video making it's like I'm starting I have more inter, interest towards photography like how real you could take as a subject or picture in those street travel, I'm interested in more that kind of photography than in a staged kind of setup, like a wedding or product. I see. Yeah, so I was just I was just fascinated. I, I, I love that B-rolls, that Peter McKinnon's B-rolls. Oh man, like, it's amazing. I actually started watching his video from where he takes a shot in Canada or somewhere. It's, it's just like... Top shot, he would say, his best shot. He waits there for almost three days to get that shot. Somewhere I saw that and like, this is really amazing, man. You wait three days for getting a single shot. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. The, yeah. the bucket shot, the bucket shot? Oh, yeah, that's bucket shot. The bu bucket yeah, shot. the story of bucket shot when he was, yeah, three, he was waiting for that fog for three days. And yeah, I heard that story, that's, that's. That's insane. That's the memory. What of photography do you shoot, man? What type of photography do you shoot? So I do, I do uh, street photography mostly too, and mm -hmm. try. So I try to do portrait photography, but I don't really like it. Mm -hmm. But I do like a you know selfie street uh, portrait photography. I took pictures of myself, my face. <laughs> That what I do, and I, I tried uh, a little bit product photography, and I want to develop in that. But yeah, I'm I'm most focused on street photography and video making right now. Video making is amazing. Like it's like a much more complex thing than a photography. Yeah, I think like, so. I there are multiple things to consider. Yeah, yeah. The video must, the video must not be shaky. Uh, there are like different things. I mean, yeah, f yeah. Photos can be blurry too, but video, like you have to consider the frames per second too. You know that all that stuff, and you should, and it's so it involves a lot of shots. You should be very creative and to think all of that. I don't know. I just, I just enjoy, I enjoy that, that process of being creative and stuff. How, how did you learn? How did you learn photography? Where, where did you learn? Did you go? Yeah, I learned in YouTube. 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 Yeah, there are different other photographers. First, like I used to shoot in auto mode. I didn't know much about the manual settings. Then later I started watching YouTube videos. I started learning what is ISO. What is shutter speed? What is aperture? How to control different things to implement them in your photograph when you're shooting in manual mode? Yeah. Okay, which in a different time. For example, if you are shooting in a street photography, it's better you have a shutter setting 
mm-hmm. shutter priority setting so that mm-hmm. uh, you could adjust the shutter speed so that some vehicles may pass fast so that you could like fastly roll up the shutter and you start clicking sometimes it's better you, if you're shooting landscape then manual photograph manual should be setting would be the best so that you could control every other different thing you could place it on a tripod you could like take it easy. Yeah. yeah because landscape is still and so to the people who doesn't know the to the shutter speed priority it's, we need to use it in order to kind of catch the moment because in street photography you don't know when it will happen but when you use ma- when you you shoot landscape you can use manual because it's kind of still and you just have to take that photo but i sometimes use manual for street photography too most of the time maybe yeah i do use manual and it's like pretty much mixed if you are shooting vehicles in a street then i would go with shutter priority else i would shoot in manual yeah i should i should i should consider the shutter priority too because so i would i've been living in not so busy streets i've been like study uh, studying going to school and the streets are not so busy so i would just use manual but for example if i would live in new york or would visit new york i think i will need the shutter priority because everything happens so fast yeah. and a lot of movement and stuff yeah that that's true so yeah it's so it's so it's so amazing how we just can learn anything in youtube because i learned photography in youtube to like purely youtube like video making youtube and it's so like the the progress is just non stopping yeah you could learn literally everything in youtube for my engineering also like i used to look for youtube for a lot of things Yeah you don't you don't even have to go to any school or something library or yeah yeah so um i think that's it because i have to have to go and prepare for <laughs> i have final test this is like oh, do it well man when are you having week yeah i it was it was great great talk i enjoyed that and yeah, it was nice to meet you man Yeah, we were we were we were planning this for a long time but couldn't do it. <laughs> so no, no, yeah. today is the day. Today is the day. I will uh we recorded it so I will post it I think in my YouTube and I will sure. cut some pieces some little make some little videos and post on Instagram and stuff. Like Gary we think Yep. So Like I'm recording in three places like one camera here Zoom is recording me and another pro, uh, another uh, app is recording me because in Zoom I can get the audio but another app is recording the video yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's weird Yeah so it was nice to meet you thank you thank you for participating in my first first interview or first whatever it is <laughs> i appreciate that thank you man it was a great meeting you yeah it was it was nice to meet you too okay see ya yeah uh, man bye i hope we will do something like that next time too when we will be even a bigger photographers you know sure <laughs> okay bye 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 So guys, uh this is the, that was it. The, our interview with Deepak. Great great man. Um I met him in Instagram like I don't know, a couple weeks ago, even a few weeks ago, if not months ago. And we were planning this for a long time. And now we did it and I think and I hope it went great and I hope you will get a lot of insight again and it will bring a lot of value some little topics and it will be just interesting to see how we to see our to to hear our stories and to see how we get inspired and how we started doing photography and all that stuff so thank you for watching St- thank you for sticking around here this is, was my first time i appreciate i appreciate you so See you in the next video. Bye.